Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another God of War Ragnarok video. Today I have another cool armor set for you to get after. That's right, I have a full guide for you how to get Ludin's broken set. That's right, her lost set can be yours today and I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to pick this bad boy up. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order to kick things off, you're gonna have to first save Freya, you know, become her BFF, and then head over to Vanaheim. Now, once you're over here, you're gonna be in a nice little open area where you can go and finish off and continue the story, right? From here is where things get interesting. You're gonna have a nice little blockage pathway that you can disrupt and you're gonna continue your way until you make it to a camp. Over here, you're gonna finish up continuing your quest line and you have a choice. Either finish the quest line or do some side objectives. We're gonna be doing some side objectives. The first side objective that we're gonna be doing is right here in front of us. We're gonna be talking to his girl. That's right. She's gonna give us a side quest called the mysterious orb and this is going to be pretty cool because Luna also have a, a nice armor set that she says that we can get if we find it and that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be completing this quest as well as finding all three pieces of armor and yeah it's a pretty cool set so first thing first from here we're going to hop in our boat and we're going to just head straight on over to the lovely cliffside ruins now so see a video pop up right there, just in case you want to get the lovely chest. It's a full step-by-step -step guide in order for you to get that. Now, we're going to make our way up here right into the left. Watch out for those spores. They will take down a little bit of your damage from poison. Uh, inside will be a chest. We're going to open that bad boy up and voila. Here's your first piece of the lovely set. That broken set, that Ludus broken belt. Now, one down, two to go. But before we get out of here, what we're going to need to do is make sure we can, you know, keep traversing up the stream because it's blocked off yet again. So once we make our way up here, we are going to turn around and we need to basically burn some shrubs that's blocking our way to getting up top where we need to go. So use Freya's arrows and place those, the nice purple ones, pink or red, you know, depending on, you know, your eye color and uh blow those up and make your way up that lovely chain and right here you're going to interact with this and this is going to blow away the rocks boom, 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 boom. and now we can finish traversing all the way down the road but before we do that we're going to be making our way right over here into the gardens why because it's really close and we don't have to backtrack right here we are at the gardens. Right over here, you can start off another side quest called Garden of the Dead. But turn around, behind us there is gonna be a wall that we can interact with, and we're gonna be using that same new thing that we got that can, you know, break down these walls. So boom, there it is like so. We're gonna break down the wall, and right behind this will be our next piece. Yep, our next broken piece, the Lunin's Broken Bracers. Okay, cool, we got two pieces, now we just need one more. It's gonna be located at the Veil Passage. Should see a video pop up right there, because this is the nice little area where you can, you know, get a nice chest. Just in case you might wanna figure it out, that's a nice video for you. Right over here will be our lovely key item for our quest that mysterious orb. And then from here, we're just gonna continually go down to the right until we make it down to the Veiled Passage. So hop back in your boat, make a quick little right, and we're gonna head back down over here to where we're gonna grab our last little piece of that broken set. So here we are. There is the chest piece, like so. Open that bad boy up, and voila. Not only do you have one piece, not two piece, you have all three pieces. Boom. From there, you're going to turn around and you're going to head back over to the camp and basically hand over that lovely mysterious orb. We're going to complete the quest and then after that, we'll be able to craft that armor. So boom, there it is. The mysterious orb is completed and you have three pieces of that armor set. So let's check this bad boy out and see how good this actually is. Now, when we go and craft this bad boy, we're gonna see that the chest piece is definitely unique because you're gonna be using 
barehanded attacks to get the most out of this. That's right, barehanded attacks per hand block and have a high look chance to deal bonus damage to poison enemies, lowering their power level. And since we are lying around people with poison, it's a good set for the area that we in. So boom, there you have it, ladies and gents, the chess piece. Now all you have to do is craft the cuirass and the wrist. So let's do that. Now we are at the Lost Bracers and you're going to get melee attack against poison enemies. You're going to do a little bit of increased damage, 20%. And if you put on the second piece, it's going to like complete that set and give you 40% with the chest piece. And then all of a sudden you have yourself a very nice armor set to play around with and to have some fun with, especially if you want to go bare knuckles. So there you have it, my dudes. Full step-by-step -step guide to the mysterious orb and Luda's broken armor set. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Game. A little wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.